Hey guys, it's Julian, and well, I'm sorry that I said you need a shout out. So, since I don't have a shout out for next week, I decided to just quit the other and questions and answers. So, yeah, so I'm just gonna show you how to organize your binder. So, here I have my binder. What you should need is get, um, Make, get a sharpie and put your name in some tape because it might get scratched or you can like put this thing my real my full name is julian angelica Dion. so here and inside you can put like folder hearts or anything with tape so it won't get scratched or put your um name again. So what you need to do is um if you want you can get um get some dividers like you can label them. You could label on the right here and then just like so like you open this thing. Yeah you open this thing and put your first divider in here. Like if you label other um that means like whatever you earned, like you don't know what it is and stuff. You put another other if you have some extra dividers. Cause usually my subject is just like, um, just like, well, language, art, math, reading, and spelling. Or writing. So we usually do language arts or writing. Then you can put school forms, which is like for school, like, you can put for like um when you need to return back to school or you just and home forms which is like you can like put your own home forms like like their parents have to sign it I you can put L A for learning arts for short you can get the reading divider. For us, we call DEAR for reading, which is D-A-R-E stands for drop everything and read, and you can put that. And, of course, spelling, because you might have a spelling homework and you don't want to miss it. Next, when you close it, you can see all the dividers labeled. Back there. Just thumbs up if you can see it. And you have to comment down below if you see it, and I'll give you a shout next week. I keep on saying next week, so I mean tomorrow or something. And the thing is, the 19. Okay, so I might not, I might not make videos 19 to 27 because um we're going to Big Island. So sorry about that if I'm not going to make videos. So. You can see me next time, but I'm just going to show you my calendar when I'm going to leave and when I'm going to come back. So this is going to be a pause for um, organizing your binder. I got my calendar, and it's going to be winter break, so it's right there. So the 19, which I'm going to leave... Uh, Get that together, okay? So the 19 is right here. Thumbs up if you can see it in my comment. Till the 20, till the 27. So that's like nine days of me making no videos. Sorry, and but that's life. You have to have at least a day without any videos. So sorry about that. Anyway, back to the organizing. And if you're still in school, elementary, you get your own assignment assignment book. We call a planner. And it might have your school name and your your date. <laughs> sorry about that. 
Anyway, you can put it in your binder if it has holes. Then you can put it in your binder right by your dividers. Then if you have your own pencil pouch, mine is good. You can at least put it on top of your binder and close it. Sorry, I cannot talk today. And if you want to hear, I have some very bad news. My mom, the one that, um, the one earlier, if you saw from my other video, um, she's very sick. She's about to lose her voice. She's coughing and everything. So if you want, you can leave a nice comment for her and say, like, sorry or whatever. Anyways, you can have your folder, you can decorate it, add put Snow White. This is from second grade, because I changed backpacks because the other one was already about to rip. And have a new folder, because the other one was about to rip too. And you can put it on, uh, for my, uh, for my binder, I have two pouches. So you can put it at the second one and put the first one, like, and put some notes, I think. And then, and then, if you have a little, little pouch right here in the middle, you can all, sorry about that. Okay, so if you can all see, I have a very little pouch right here. And you can put a ruler or something, but I left my ruler at school. Anyways, I'm just going to cut out a little piece of paper and like put, um, uh, cut a little piece of paper and like put on the stage. When I last put seven Supergirls, my friend Sophia thought it was Supergirls in the town. She, she, she put a paper and said Supergirls in the town. I was like moving. I was like, like, you know, looking. So yeah, so my next, um, goodbye. Anyways, um, so yeah. And if you want, you can even put um, your street number or where you live. So if you forgot it somewhere, then they know what you live. Anyways, I'm just go and I'm going to show you. Since this video is so long, I am going to show you how to make um how to make. Your backpack organized, so sorry I've been thinking a lot. So, well, come back to part two of Keen Your Back. Bye! Sorry the video is too long.